Some days I want to look like a, I belong in a metal band, and then some days I want to look like I belong in a flower field. So just depends on what I feel like that day. From watching the Olympics on TV and actually being a part of it is pretty spectacular, right? Not only is Coco Goff making her Olympic debut, but she is a frontrunner for Team USA too, literally and figuratively. At 20, the American professional tennis player is just about to compete in her first ever Olympic Games after failing to do so in Tokyo. Not because she wasn't qualified or wasn't skilled enough, but because fate decided to play a trick on her. As you may remember, the 2020 Olympics was held in 2021 because of the global pandemic COVID-19. Packed and ready to go, the only thing left for Coco to do is board the plane and, apparently, spit into the COVID-19 test that Olympic officials required every athlete to take before boarding their flight. To the then 17-year-old American tennis star's horror, the test came back positive. When she revealed the heartbreaking news, U.S. Olympic tennis coach Kathy Rinaldi told her to take another test to double-check. That one came back positive too, meaning Coco had to pull out of the Olympics and delay a childhood dream. It was very disappointing, Goff recalled recently. I felt very sad, but it was out of my hands. I knew I wouldn't be the only athlete missing it, unfortunately, because of that. Three years later, Coco is making up for lost time. Not only has she arrived in Paris as a threat to win gold in the women's singles competition, but she also joined LeBron James as the flag bearers for the U.S. Olympic team during the first of their kind opening ceremony on the iconic Seine River. Like she said, it's going to be an Olympics to remember for her and LeBron. The tennis star and the NBA legend were tapped to serve as the flag bearers for the United States during the opening ceremony at the Summer Olympics in Paris. It's an honor, James said during NBC's opening ceremony broadcast, adding, for myself and Coco, for us to be able to represent our country, us being black kids as well, represent our culture and represent where we come from. It gives everybody so much hope where we come from, and that's all we can ask for. Goff, on the other hand, praised being with James, whom she called the GOAT, saying, It means a lot. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to do well in the games. For context, it was previously revealed exclusively on Today that Gaff would join James as a flag bearer. Earlier in the week, when she and doubles partner Jessica Pegula were debating who to nominate for the honor of carrying the U.S. flag, Gaff found herself stumped. Pegula laughed when she described Goff telling her, who are we supposed to pick? It's definitely not going to be any of us. When fellow American tennis player Chris Eubanks told Gaff that he planned to nominate her, Gaff scoffed at the idea that she was worthy. There had never been a tennis player chosen before, she said, and I didn't think I would be that player. Eubanks, a close friend of Goff for years, didn't feel the same. He campaigned for the world's number two ranked female player and reigning U.S. Open champ, based on more than her impressive tennis credentials. I think it's not only what she brings to the game, but the world at large, Eubanks said. We've seen her be very outspoken about the causes she finds important. For her part, Gaff had already forgotten about flag bearer nominations, when Eubanks out of nowhere launched into an impromptu speech about her in front of the other members of the U.S. tennis team. Embarrassed and confused, Gaff joked that she was already planning on cussing him out for showering her with compliments in front of everyone. It goes without saying that Coco was moved to know her teammates voted for her and recognized the enormity of the honor. She dreamt of being in the Olympics, of course, but never would she have imagined she would one day be the flag bearer and in her first Olympics nonetheless. What makes it even more special is the fact that, if it wasn't clear enough, Gaff and James were selected by a vote of fellow Team USA athletes through a process led by the Team USA Athletes Commission. According to a press release, they serve as the representative group and voice of Team USA athletes. The unlikely tandem are both making history in their respective sport. Coco is the first U.S. tennis player to be a flag bearer for Team USA while James will be the first men's basketball player to carry the flag for the country. As he is arguably the greatest player to ever lace them up, he is a fitting first. Gaff is too, given that she is the reigning U.S. Open champion. And as expected, a spectacular opening ceremony kicked off the Paris Olympics. 
the basketball star and the tennis champ, served as flag bearers for Team USA in the Parade of Nations opening ceremony in Paris. Gaff rocked a poncho as she and James braved the rain, beside nearly 600 of their fellow Team USA athletes, who smiled and cheered as they made their way down the river. Evidently, Coco couldn't contain her excitement as she posted on her social media. She also posted a series of pictures on Instagram, with the caption, What an honor, no words truly. Goff's first photo in the set was an image of her standing beside fellow Team USA flag bearer LeBron James as the two athletes kicked off the Parade of Nations. Coco, you're the coolest, American gymnast Suni Lee commented. But now that her flag bearer duties are out of the way, Coco has to focus on her upcoming competitions. In case you didn't know, the world's leading tennis players have learned their fate at the Paris 2024 Olympics after the draw took place a few days back, with a potential blockbuster second-round match in the offing. World number 1 IGA Swiatek of Poland faces Romanian Irina Kamelia Begu in the opening round of the women's singles, while world number 2 Coco Gaff takes on Australia's Ajla Tomjanovic. Coco will also team up with Jessica Pagula in women's doubles. The duo will start against Australia's Daria Saville and Ellen Perez. Pegula is number six in the WTA rankings, and they played together at Wimbledon and reached the quarterfinals. In mixed doubles, Gaff will team up with Taylor Fritz. Fritz, who is number 11 in the ATP rankings, is coming off a quarterfinal run at Wimbledon, which matched his best finish at a Grand Slam in his career. They'll start against Argentina's Nadia Podoroska and Maximo Gonzalez. That's something to look forward to, for sure. This is a childhood dream come true moment for Coco, and she deserves it. For those who don't know, tennis Olympic spots are determined by rankings, not a do-or-die competition, like swimming or track trials. So when Gaff qualified for the 2024 Paris Games, she wasn't surprised. Still, she got super excited when she received her official nomination letter, calling it an honor to represent her country during a competition that seemingly everyone tunes into. There are other benefits to the fact that Gaff had to wait three years before making her Olympic debut. She has two Grand Slam titles under her belt now. Besides the 2023 US Open, she and doubles partner Katerina Sinyakova won the 2024 French Open in May and tons of big match experience. Will this help her in Paris? Here are other athletes who joined her in the opening ceremony in Paris.